Let me ask you one question. Do you have a spiritual hero? Anybody. It could be someone that's dead, a saint, Jesus, Mary. It could be someone living, a friend, a mentor. The reason why I ask this question is that if you don't have a spiritual hero, then more than likely, you don't know where you are going in your spiritual life. That's because a hero is someone who has achieved what we want to achieve. They have obtained something that we hold to be valuable. That's why if you value sports, you naturally have athletic heroes. And if you value money, you will naturally have business heroes. And the list goes on if you value fame, music, or adventure. So what heroes do you have right now? Now the question is if you have a spiritual hero. But let me rephrase it. Do you know what you want to achieve spiritually? Can you name it? Have you asked God what it is? Can you explain it? Do you know the details? And if you can, or when you do, then chances are you will gravitate to someone as your spiritual hero. Now your spiritual hero will do two things for you. And this doesn't matter if they're living or dead. Number one, they testify that this goal I have, this desire in my heart is possible. It has been done even in the midst of reality and not in a dream world. Number two, they embody in a real physical way through deeds and attitudes what is many times something abstract. So I challenge you to find what you want to achieve spiritually and then go find your hero.